What's going on guys, it's your boy CMB. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and let's get into this one really quickly. Now guys, uh, quick post-fight reaction to the main event tonight on Showtime. We had Javante Tank Davis, the WBA regular lightweight champion, taking on a tough competitor in Hector Luis Garcia, the uh, super featherweight WBA champion, moving up to uh, derail Javante Tane Davis's plans in April of facing off against his arch nemesis and Ryan Garcia. Uh, congratulations to Javante Tank Davis. Uh, he wins the fight, stopping uh, Hector Luis Garcia, well, making him quit on the stool uh, after the eighth round, guys. And that's so ironic because I said that he would get Hector out of there about the eighth round, and that, that pretty much would happen. Uh, it was a left hand. Uh, that hurt Hector. Uh, when the bell rang, he went back to his corner and he said he couldn't see and the fight was stopped. So he didn't even make it into the ninth round. And uh, I was just sitting there thinking about it. I'm like, he hit Hector so hard. Hector said that he could not see out of his eyes. He didn't know where he was. And you just have to imagine uh, how hard does Javante Tang Davis hit uh, that he, he hit him so hard that he couldn't even see. So, uh, you know that guy has a lot of power. Uh, it was a pretty good fight. It went the way I thought it would. Uh, Hector Garcia, a uh, pretty skilled fighter, uh, working behind the jab, uh, throwing combinations. Uh, you guys know Javante Tank Davis starts off a little bit slow. Uh, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't have a high punch output. But when he gets to going, he gets to going. And I, th I think he started really... Uh, getting into it around round four, he was letting his hands go. And you could see the difference in power uh, when Javante Tank Davis landed as opposed to when uh, Garcia landed, even though Garcia was throwing some good shots. So uh, it was a pretty entertaining fight. I, I thought this was a really good test for Javante Tank Davis. Uh, I knew that he had the skills, uh, you know, to be looked at as one of the best at 135. I, I still think Devin Haney is the man at 135, being that he has all the titles, but I think Javante Tank Davis is a force to be reckoned with in that weight class. So now, we're, we're probably gonna get this fight in April with him and Ryan Garcia. Uh, I said it I'll, I said it before and I'll say it again, I think Ryan Garcia uh, has the attributes the physical attributes to defeat somebody like Javante Tank Davis but I think Javante Tank Davis yeah, is just too much of a I would say a uh, skilled complete fighter uh, that has more experience I, I, I'll put it that way uh, to defeat Ryan Garcia I think Ryan Garcia won't win this fight I think it'll be an interesting fight to see but I think Javante Tank Davis will come out on top and of course, you know, we have the Devin Haney factor uh, We have the Shakur Steven factor now that he's moved up to 135 A uh, lot of good fighters up there Frank Martin uh, You know, I think 135 is full of sharks now. I think this is a vision to look at uh, These guys need to be mixing it up. They're all young and uh, I can't wait to see these other super fights at 135. But once again, congratulations to Javante Tank Davis. Uh, I'll say this, Hector Luis Garcia uh, shouldn't hang his head down. You know, he's a, he's a good fighter, guys. Uh, he's still a champion at 130, so I think he's going to go back down to 130 and uh, defend his title there. But uh, you guys tell me what you think about the fight tonight with Javante Tank Davis uh, versus Hector Luis Garcia. Uh, who do you think uh, will be victorious in the fight in April uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada with Ryan Garcia? Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.